Hey, Luke, uh, Jared McDonald with the Daily News. Um, you know, Coach Cunningham was just talking about how much of a crazy day it kind of was for you guys. But, you know, to come together as a team and, and to put up a balanced effort and a big win like today, I guess, what was that whole process that it took to get to this point right now? Um, I think it was just us coming together. I mean, this has been coming. Uh, we've been working since August. So, I mean, uh, just being player driven. I think that's the biggest thing. And, um, you know, your players leading the team. Um, and I think we had a lot of that today. Um, and thankfully, we were able to come out with the win. So, And, you know, for, uh, Luke, for you personally, um, you know, you come out in that first half. Charles is a little bit less productive than usual. But, um, you know, you knock down a few threes. You start off with the one in the middle of the Murfreesboro Medical Clinic logo. I guess at that point, did you know you were feeling it? And, you know, what has led to the increase in, I guess, shooting percentage from deep these last couple games for the team? Uh, I mean, I've, I've been working on my shot um, all week, and it's felt good. Um, so I know coming in here that um, I think it would just transfer over, and thankfully it did. Um, but when we came in yesterday and practiced, um, my, shot, uh, my shot felt pretty good. Um, you know, I was able to knock, like you said, a couple down early um, and, you know, help the team get the win. I think that's the biggest thing. It doesn't matter how many points I score, <clears throat> what I do offensively, defensively, as long as we win, I mean, that's all I'm worried about. So, Lou, this is uh, Caden with the Herald. Um, as the shooting, you know, has gotten better over the past couple of games, do you see uh, the three-point shot becoming more of a consistent part of the offense? I mean, for sure. I think that just – when you're knocking down shots, it just builds confidence for people. Um, and if it just carries over, you know, it's more likely to happen. So, yeah, I can definitely see it. <clears throat> more threes. Um, but, you know, the way we've been playing before, I mean, it's working too. So, I mean, we've got a lot of, lot of tools that we can use um, to help get the win. And, you know, we showed it today. And speaking of that, you know, with Charles and Tay, you know, usually not being the productive sales in the first half, um, and you and Josh and Jordan stepping up, you know, what does that say about the importance of the depth of this team? I mean, we got a lot of bodies that can play, man. Um, you know, thankfully we're, we're able to be so deep um, and we could probably play more, more guys, but um, like coach Cunningham said, we got a lot of bodies that played a lot of minutes today. Um, so our bench is definitely gonna have to step up tomorrow and uh, come out ready to fight because that's what it's going to be. It's going to be another fight. So, uh, hopefully we can come out and get the win. Anything else for Luke? Hey, Carson. Uh, Jared with the Daily News. Um, you know, it sounds like it was a crazy day for you guys, um, you know, with Coach Stansberry not being able to come in. And, and, you know, it's been an emphasis lately of being a player-driven team. I guess, how much did you see that come into play here today and the result that you guys had today? Uh, yeah, that was a – like you said, an interesting situation, unexpected situation this morning. So uh, I think everybody was curious to see how, how the guys uh, were going to respond. And, uh, you know, I think from uh, the story that the game tells is, is everyone responded, came together, and uh, fought through the adversity that, that we were dealt. Hey, Carson, this is uh, Nick Teaser from the College Hyde Herald. You know, we're seeing some more points coming from you these last two games. You know, you're starting to heat up. So – just how big is that just moving forward, you know, you know, talking about energy and whatnot, just, you know, it's huge for you seeing you do all that. So just give me your thoughts on that. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to see it for sure. I mean, uh, I was in a stretch where I was, I was struggling in some ways, struggling to score. Um, the last two games have been, I, I believe, my two uh, highest point numbers of the season. So, you know, that's not, that's not all that matters, but it, but it is good. Helps me build some momentum coming in. Uh, to this latter part of the season. And Carson, you know, it's not just you putting up numbers, but it's you and Charles. Um, you know, when you're both in the lineup, you guys, uh, the last couple of games have been working really well together. Today, you fed each other for dunks in the game. You know, how have you seen your chemistry building with him on the court? Because that's something Coach Stansberry talked a lot about, um, you know, leading up to the stretch. Yeah, as, as the year has progressed, uh, we've been, like you said, building uh, – building the chemistry on the court together. Uh, he looks for me, I look for him. And we, we try to work the high-low as much as possible when, when given those situations. So um, that's really been paying off here over these past few games. Carson, this is uh, Nick again. You know, you see uh, Shuler, he just came back after missing the past five weeks when they last played Old Miss. And, 
you know, he's someone that led their team in scoring. So ahead of tomorrow, what are you guys going to have to do to just, you know, kind of put them on lockdown more so? Uh, it's going to have to be a team-wide approach. It's not just going to be one guy going out and locking him up. We're all going to have to have uh, awareness of where he's at and just play help defense, be in gaps, and uh, try to keep him from getting downhill. You know, Carson, um, I think we talked about it after Marshall. You and Charles made, um, you know, I believe five combined threes that game. You guys went seven of 11 from beyond the arc. You guys knocked down six in the first half. Uh, you go 10 of 20 in the game from three-point range, a variety of guys hitting him. You know, how do you see that opening up the offense these last couple of games for you? Yeah, we went through through a stretch there where um, I guess we weren't making it as many as a team. Uh, teams really started to uh, pack it in on the post, uh, pack it in on driving lanes, uh, trying to keep guys out of the paint because that's what we were doing the majority of our damage. So now when we got we got guys hitting, uh, you know, hitting more from out there, it really opens things up, gives us more options to score. Carson, I just got one more for you. Um, you know. Most of uh, your career, you've been around Rick a lot. And just what what was it like not having him here today? You know, it's kind of close to Bowling Green. You know, uh, just what was it like not having him on the bench this afternoon? Uh, you know, we, we all knew it would be a challenge just because, you know, we're used to have, having him there. You know, he, he's our head coach. But um, the guys stepped up in a big way, players and, and, and coaches alike. So, we did what we had to do. Uh, we responded to the adversity, and, uh, you know, that's really all I, I can say. Anything else for Carson?